Hi, this is Long. Welcome to our video series on search patterns for the most common studies in radiology. Please note that this is an introduction to study interpretation. An enormous amount of detail is omitted for brevity. Continue dedicated reading, seeing as many cases as possible, and keep getting feedback from subspecialists during the course of your training. Okay, so today we're going to talk about a basic approach to the HIDAS scan, um, also known as hepatobiliary scintigraphy. So this sort of study is done to evaluate for hepatobiliary pathology, uh, frequently acute or less commonly chronic cholecystitis. Uh, other sort of indications include looking for a bile leak, obstruction, um, and then a similar sort of study uh, is done, uh, though it's going to be outside the scope of this video, um, uh, to look for biliary atresia and neonates. Uh, so kind of uh, the, the, the big overall uh, organization of an approach is to, you know, with all studies, make sure that you understand the patient's history, the indication, look at priors, especially ultrasound, you know, any prior CT, uh, other HIDA scans, um, understand the context of patient preparation, um, and then we'll go through and you want to look at the time series and summary images to assess for the hepatic, appropriate hepatic uptake, gallbladder visualization, um, and then ultimately bowel activity. All right. So actually, to begin with, what I'll, t I'll speak about very briefly is that, um, and we'll do this as we bring up the study here, uh, so the, is, 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 this, is to understand that it's, it's really, really important to understand, you know, what is the clinical context? You know, is it acute cholecystitis? Is there some sort of issue, at, you know, suspected issue at the CBD, at the ampulla? And then to really understand patient preparation. Um, you know, this is a, you know, a topic in and of itself, but to touch on some kind of key factors before we really dive into looking at the study, you, you want to understand things that are going to produce false positives um, or difficulty uh, interpreting the exam, such as, you know, has the patient been fasting appropriately, you know, in the appropriate range, usually, you know, four to 24 hours? Is there any chance they're on TPN? If, you know, do they have severe, severe illness, as you might, you know, suspect a calculus cholecystitis? Is there a history of liver disease? You know, is there, you know, prior evidence of, you know, cholecystitis, pancreatitis? You want to know if the patient's on opioids, um, which can d delay uh, bowel activity visualization, um, and you want to know like when the last dose of opioids was, and then you want to know any sort of allergies, especially to things that you may need to give the patient during the course of study, such as morphine. Um, you know, if there's going to be issues with, you know, false negatives, that's going to be something you want to think about as well in terms of underlying abnormality um, anatomically by looking at prior imaging, looking for, you know, an accessory cystic duct, see if there's any large gallstones that are going to change the anatomy um, if you for filling of the gallbladder lumen. And then you want to look also, just be sure to be aware of any duodenal or biliary diverticula that could impact or simulate, uh, you know, a gallbladder visualization. All right. So as we look at the study, um, you know, let's, let's go through and take a look at what this sort of study looks like. So this is the, kind of the summary image, and then we've got um, kind of like the, the various time uh, points that is going to start after injection and kind of go through to about an hour. And then we have here a single image, and this is kind of a light, or uh, this, this, is, this will be labeled. This is right, you know, actually a right lateral view. Um, so this is actually then relabeled here. Um, and then as you can see, as we look at the, at the summary, uh, information is that we, we are getting scintigraphic images um, at various time points starting at you know just after injection it was looking like four minutes about after injection then following through for about an hour and what we want to get a sense of um, is that first of all do we over the course see something that looks like the gallbladder if we if we you know reach about 60 minutes and you don't see the gallbladder um, you know, do you, you want to think, okay, do you need additional views, whether right lateral oblique, right lateral? Um, you know, if the patient has been fasting for, for, that, for more than, you know, 24 hours, is, you know, is it worthwhile to give CCK or a fatty meal? If there's not, if there's kind of low uptake in the liver uh, at about 60, you know, uh, at about 60 minutes and you don't see the gallbladder and there's low liver uptake, you know, you want to consider having um, like a booster radio tracer administration, which is usually half what you give. So in, in terms of analyzing these images, you, at the very beginning, you know, and you can, look, you can also look at the specific time lapse um, and correlate with the summary images, is that you want to see hepatic uptake within five minutes. So here we actually see hepatic uptake right 
right at the beginning, which would be about four minutes post um, injection. And if you see kind of like the delayed uptake of prolonged blood, blood pool, um, this frequently, um, or this is this will make you think of uh, underlying liver disease. So that's something you want to take a look at the patient history and understand. Um, as we go progress within the uh, the time series, um, you you really want to see the gallbladder at about ten to fifteen minutes um, at the latest. So we all we're seeing the gallbladder kind of. You know, we see kind of like this um, kind of lobular, uh, you know, syntographic uh, kind of like signal, um, and and you know we're seeing it pretty pretty early on. So um, this is this is okay if you're if you're not seeing the gallbladder, you know, you want to check for things like the rim sign, the cystic duct sign. You're looking for kind of a leak, which you know will, will appear as like a you know a, can can be like a, the reappearing liver sign. Um, and then if you're not seeing or it's the the anatomy is confusing, it's important to correlate to prior studies. And and then you know when troubleshooting, use like kind of like a right lateral oblique or other um, or like a right lateral view uh, that can that can help you. And, and again, that depends on the underlying patient anatomy. If you haven't visualized the gallbladder within 60 minutes, you might want to do. Um, or, or, you know, it's going to be pretty routine to do like a four hour delay or a post post morphine images. Um, it's important to, rem to see, to, you know, note that you have to be able to see bowel activity before you give, uh, any sort of morphine. Um, if there's any delayed gallbladder uptake, so not in this case, so then we're seeing this early, but if it, if you go past an hour and then you actually see the gallbladder after an hour, um, you know, that could, uh, correlate with, um, uh, chronic cholecystitis, okay? And you want to be looking at prior studies and even consider like a gallbladder ejection fraction study. Um, bowel activity can be pretty faint in here, even on kind of the last images, it's, it's, we're, we're barely seeing it. So even if I window here, um, we want to kind of be able to see, um, let's see if we can, if we invert the images, we can, we can, we can make it out. Um, yeah, so there we go. You can you can barely make out. Let's see if we can we can, we can get there. We go. So that's gonna that's gonna be kind of more helpful. Is that we're seeing a little bit of bowel activity right at the end there. Um, if you know, especially if we there we go. So windowing windowing alarm is gonna be really important here, especially for the more subtle activity. Um, and uh, so w w when we're looking at this time series and we're, we're trying to pick out and see when we're when we should be seeing bowel, you want to really expect it within 10 to 15 minutes. And if, if you don't see that activity, um, and again, kind of the windowing and levels can be really important here, um, that can uh, imply that you have obstruction of the either common bowel duct or some other part of the uh, biliary tract um, that, that it cannot, that the tracer cannot make it into the bowel lumen. Um, so, you know, as, as you put together this picture and you think about, you know, appropriate visualization of the liver, of the gallbladder, of bowel activity, you want to put that into the context of the patient's, you know, labs, the clinical scenario, um, potential for po false positive or false negatives, and any need for any follow-up imaging or kind of um, optimization of the study that you're currently doing. And so just as a quick uh, recap, um, in terms of uh, an approach to the HIDA scan, basic overall organization includes understanding the patient um, history, the indication, very important to understand preparation, potential for false positive and false negatives, limitations of the study, need for additional views, and then looking at appropriate time points for transition of blood pool into hepatic uptake, gallbladder uptake, um, again, understanding the anatomy, and then finally bowel uptake.